Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Kevin Riley, Chief Technology Officer and Engineering Vice President with Sonus Networks. Kevin, welcome and thanks for talking to us. Much of SDN and almost all of NFE is predicated on the notion of openness, whatever that may mean. Why is that so crucial for the deployment and evolution of NFE in CSP networks? Great question. So when, I, when we think about where we are with SDN and NFE, we're, we're still in early days. Um, I would say, in general, the industry, whether it's CSPs or vendors, are still converging on best practices in ways to effectively make this work and allow NFV to collaborate with SDN to deliver real solutions that generate revenue for CSPs. Um, openness breeds collaboration, and really that is how we will converge on these technologies and converge to best practices and converge to realizable, deployable solutions with NFV and SDN infrastructure. So. And when, when we think about openness, it just it opens it up and breeds an environment of collaboration where multiple vendors, partners, and CSPs can come together, work together to converge NFV and SDN to what will amount to you know workable solutions in CSP networks. So, Kevin, tell us about Sonus Networks' role within the ecosystem and how what you do benefits the CSP. Sure. So we have products that span both the NFV and the SDN space. In the NFV space, what we've been doing is taking our session border controller, uh, session border controller products and our policy products and moving them from what was typically a purpose-built hardware domain implementation and rapidly moving them into software. All right? um, we feel we're at the forefront of that in terms of realizing these functions in a way that is feature complete, has the same resiliency and robustness that existed in hardware, now migrated to software that can help our customers now accelerate their move off of hardware into a software environment. So in short, for NFV, we are accelerating our CSPs move from hardware into the software domain via um, RVNFs, uh, which run in their NFV infrastructure. On the SDN front, we're delivering an SDN-based network control solution that's, that's really comprised of a network control function backed by a management a management interface and a rich set of network analytics uh, for network monitoring and troubleshooting that has enabled our customers, our CSPs, to transform their networks uh, from what was a static architecture into a very dynamic architecture and, at the, and realize you know, the efficiencies of moving to automated network control, but at the same time creates new service offers for their end customers, where they're now able to put their services, their provisioning in the hands of their users to really create an on-demand user-driven model, which is an entirely new service offer, which wasn't possible before we introduced SDN into their networks. Kevin, one of the things that differentiates NFE and SDN from other technologies in the past is that we see a lot of long-term partnerships and strategic alliances between companies that in the past would have been deadly rivals and often one another's throats. That seems to have changed with NFV. You have a partnership relation with HP. Why and what do you get out of it? And above all, what does your customer get out of it in the end? So HP has been very at the forefront of building state-of-the-art servers following Intel's roadmap um, introducing kind of the latest technology into their platforms, which has allowed us to follow an NFV performance curve with HP that we couldn't follow with other partners. Uh, we really can get at new technology um, early with HP. HP has a lot of influence um, with Intel, with um, kind of the major chip manufacturers to be able to help shape the direction of their investments and their technology investments as they move forward. So they're, they're a great partner for us to interwork with them, integrate on their platforms, share our wants and needs of those platforms, which they can then leverage their relationships back into the industry to help realize that. Um, so it's been a, you know, a very productive, good relationship um, between Sonos and HP. We're longtime partners, and uh, as we move forward and continue to introduce more NFV type of functionality, HP is the platform that we're looking to host it on initially. Okay, Kevin Riley, thanks very much. Thank you.